This quick tip will show you how to create an effects rack with adjustable crossover for processing just the higher or lower frequencies in a sound. This can be particularly useful when wanting to process a bass part, where it's often a good idea to leave the very bottom end alone. So with this loop now, I'll first add auto filter to the track and then bring down the cutoff to 300 Hz. So we're left with just the lower frequencies. And then I'll group the filter by right clicking, which places it in an effects rack on the first chain. So I'll name this low. Now I'll duplicate the chain again by right clicking, but this time I'll set the filter to high pass and name the chain high. So now we have two chains running in parallel with one having only frequencies up to 300 Hz and the other only frequencies above 300 Hz. And with the resonances in their default state, it should work such that you don't hear any difference when you turn the rack on and off. Then all I have to do is show the macros, turn on map mode, and then map the frequency of both filters to macro 1 which I'll name Crossover. I'm doing it as two words, so it looks nice. And now I can use the dial to set the crossover frequency for my chains. So this is my high-low rack, which I can save to my user library. And now to use the rack, I just drag any effects I want to the high chain, like maybe one of the more raucous chorus presets. And I'll set the crossover to 1K, so the only frequencies from there upwards are being processed. And the crossover can be lowered if wanting to process more of the bottom end. But when we go right to the bottom, so we're processing the whole signal, we'll get a lot more movement and so stereo information added to the lowest frequencies. So to keep it clean, you can make sure the crossover stays at least above 200 Hz or so. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. See you next time.